welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your daily message or massages. Big Cat, the planetary energies today. Venus enters Sagittarius, no less. Mm -hmm. Our hearts long for adventure and travel. The next four weeks aren't going to be the best for long-term commitments or budgeting. Watch them Pentecale. Watch your Scarilla. Mm -hmm. But it is an exciting time to seek out fun and adventure. Be bold, big cat. Be wise, big cat. Don't get smoked, big cat. Hey, hey. All right, let's call in the energies of guidance and protection. Energy is up. Let's dive in, big cats. Let's dive in. Mm -hmm. We're still under the energy of the Libra full moon, darling dears. Did you set your intentions? Did you line up your goals and your, and your dreams with the energy of the universe? You will be in the energies for the next three days. Yes, baby. Mocha sipped. As I was saying... Mm -hmm. Let's dive in. Let's get the energies around this read today, darling dears. I'm feeling really bouncy. Very happy, lovely, gorgeous and fabulous. Base of the deck, we've got what? A desert passage. Trust, there's a divine plan. There's always a plan, darling dear. And the best way to what? Get a peep at the plan is to get a hold of the most important document you will ever have on this Malkuth. What's that you say? I say it's your birth natal chart, darling dear. Know thyself. How else are you expected to win? We're running out blind there on this Malkuth amongst the skullduggers. Are you at the park? No, it, follow the road round. It curves round to the right and carry on down to the bottom. And he's... Which, you mean you turn left? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep following the road all the way down to the end of that road and you'll see it's at the edge of the park and turn right and then carry on straight. I'm in the middle of a live. All right, all right, Sayonara. Sorry about that, guys. Had to answer that call. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one flipped over. What's this? Begin now. A new beginning, darling dear. A new road. A new way of being. This is about what? Packing light. Come through, Erica Badu. Posh, clap. This is about you moving on. So waving goodbye to the past. Possibly with two of these. And one of those, oh goodness, pardon me, that was a spiritual belch because I speak the truth roof. Pink is up. Yes, baby. Moving on, this is about your growth game, darling dear. Some of you are going into what? Speculating into other areas. Is that multiple streams of income, I see? Mm -hmm. I'm, oh, we're seeing some chickens here. It reminds me of that story. Do you remember that chicken that wanted to bake the bread and nobody wanted to help, but everybody wanted said, said piece of bread? Oh well, oh well. This is about you gathering together your creativities, darling dear. We see the dull yellow as well. For the envious ones, those with the children of the corn eye, watching your heavy thing. They're watching you clean up. Mm-hmm. This is no longer a wave goodbye. This is a what stop? Come back. I need help. I need a donation. Yes, baby. Possibly from your hairline. Don't look back, darling dear. Just a wave you can buy and then keep going forward. Remember what happened to Lot's wife. Mm -hmm. We'll go to the book. See what the deeper meaning of this card is.
begin now. Begin now is on page 29. The two represents the high priestess, the moon, as well as water energy. This is about you having secrets sitting between the two pillars of wisdom, Boaz and Jashin, for completion and beginning. Beginning. Just saw 555 five, five on the counter, meaning change, darling dear, is a foot. Whether it's good or bad, it depends on what your focus is on. What you put into this change, darling dear. Because faith without works is dead. James 2.14. You know this. Man, did you put your back into it, big cat? Did you? Did you set your intentions? Have you shaped a new life for yourself? Carved out a new way to be? Did you go into the undergrowth? Mm -hmm. The nine is represented by what? The hermit. Virgo energy, darling dear. Having isolated yourself from what? Bottom feeding. Those that will drag you back to hell in a handbasket. Give you a what front seat on the spiritual short bus with the square wheels. Mm -hmm. Isolation about what? Self-introspection. But when Big Cat is what? Spirit, spiritually quarantined. You don't just go into the quarantine and sit down and cry. Well, cry. well, you did cry for a bit. Until I told you to smack yourself across the face till spittle flies. Then you did what? You went for your book, darling. You got the knowledge. Why? Knowledge brings power. Knowledge as well brings Pentecale. Everything is a sign, darling dear. It's the magic of the three. Knowledge, power, Pentecale. Mm -hmm. Pentecale brings change, darling dear. And the chance to live how you want to on this Mount Goof. Page 29. Let's push on. Take your first step. Every journey starts with the first step. There is no amount, excuse me, there is no moment better than the present one to begin. You might not feel ready, but nevertheless, it's now time to start. A new cycle is beginning. Wipe the slate clean and get going. Release familiar routines, stagnant situations, or challenging relationships. Mm-hmm that no longer support you or empower you. Remember that, big cat. Leave those Debbie Downers in the dust. Mm -hmm. You are at the end of an old cycle and beginning a new, exciting one. Set yourselves for a new horizon. All new everything, big cat. The Libra, new moon, is represented by what the justice in the tarot, darling, dear, blind justice, legal situations going your way, cutting out ways of being. Some of you are filing defamations of characters. Yes, baby, they talked, they talked very badly about you. Said nasty things. It will make you want to bat off your ears. But spirit heard. This is why you had to wave goodbye to the past, darling, dear, and keep moving forward. Mm-hmm. There are times when the traveler needs to separate from family, friends and acquaintances to enter new, new places within himself or herself. Sometimes the traveler must go beyond what is familiar in order to open, in order to be open for transformation and change, change. Trust the journey brings Oh my God, what's the matter with my reading? Mercury retrograde Lama, yeah? Trust the journey brings a heightened sense of awareness and ignites mindfulness. Sometimes it can feel difficult to take that first step, but unless you do, you'll never know the joy and fulfillment that await you. Do it now, do it, do it, do it. In the words of Lao, Lao, a journey of a thousand miles begins with one single step. Take that step, big cat. All new everything is promised unto thee, knowing thyself, loving Father, God, Mother Isis. From whence will your help come? Your help will come from the hills, darling, dears. 
Raise your eyes to the hills. Zip into your Ephesians 613 spiritual armor for you to screenshot and read at your leisure. Yes, baby. We have the energy of the new moon strong. There's something wrong with my finger magic. I'll tell you, all the electronics is all messed up. Sorry about this, guys. As I was saying before, I rudely interrupted myself, right? You've also got the energy of Venus in Sagittarius. Venus, the planet of love, darling, dear. Abundance. Sagittarius, the ninth house. The key word for Sagittarius is your beliefs. You believe in a higher power. This is about your education, possibly your spiritual education. You have reached, ascended to a different level and are being rewarded. Gifts, darling, dear. Gifts. Grace. Why? You took the time to what? Go into unknown territory. I told you, you went into the undergrowth, darling, dear, with nothing but two birds for company. Mm-hmm. Their names was what? Common. And the last one was Sense. Yes, baby, your flip-flop, your spiritual guide counter. You went into what? Situations that were unknown to you and realized you found joy. You found you, big cat. You took a chance. You rolled the dice of life and you found you. I always tell you, Big Cat, if you don't want to learn, nobody can stop you. But if you choose to learn, nobody can stop you. You are a limitless being, darling. You tap in and turn up. All new everything. Let's get the energies around that, darling, dear. Mm -hmm. All new everything, big cat. Be prepared for incoming blessings. Let's give it a good shufti. Oh, this one wanted to jump right out. Gratitude, be grateful for everything, darling, dear. As you kick your way out of the duvet like a six month old. You understand how to what? Set your intention the night before as your about to go into theta sleep, your theta state, right? Where you open your subconscious for what prompted on what you want to go down, big cat. You're telling yourself how you want your day to be and it's unfolding for you. All new, everything, grateful for everything. You have to be grateful that you got away from the scourge, that you are no longer what a people pleaser, that you can't be what pulled about like taffy. Doesn't go with your hairline or anything you've got going on. Unknown territory is the best place to be. What's underneath that? You stepped into your power, big cat. And they have been struck to stone at your back, the jealous ones, with the envious eyes. They can see your light now, that you're what? At 60 feet. Easter Island, Steve, you wonder again, it reminds me of what? The hermit, darling, you're holding onto your rod of wisdom. Mm-hmm spiritually guided and they're watching darling dear they're watching mm -hmm. look it looks like their hands coming from the grave trying to gra drag you back don't go back to old ways of thinking old paradigms darling dear it no longer fits you it doesn't fit you continue with your spiritual guidance mm -hmm. this is leading you towards what dignity and abundance know this that you co-created no less One final card, please. Thank you. Freedom, darling, dear. Freedom. What did I just say? You can have anything you want. All new. Everything. Some of you are grateful for the freedom that you created by what? Distancing yourself from situations that are now below your spiritual pay grade. Somebody's also going to be freed from a debt. Pay... Look, somebody's just paid off a debt. Okay. Give unto Caesar what is due unto Caesar, eh? Don't create bad karma for yourself, darling, dear. Mm-hmm. 
I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Happiness is the inside job. Nobody can make you happy. They can add to it or they can take it away. Remember I said, big cat, be careful whom you invite into your home. You'll come up missing certain things. Joy, peace, harmony, trust, your common sense blood. Mm -hmm. Your hairline, your pentacle, and in some cases, your life. Base of the deck, darling. There's somebody's feeling guilty, or they're gonna try and guilt you out. Yes, baby. Someone who knocked your confidence, spoke down to you, made you feel less than. Why? They was at the bottom of the pit, darling. Yeah, they wanted to drag you in, and because you wasn't aware of yourself, right? You allowed it for a time. Don't allow them to guilt you back into any situation or circumstance. This is a time where you what? Say say what you mean and mean what you say. Mm -hmm. Somebody's feeling guilty about the change in you, darling, dear. We've also got a friendship card underneath, darling. Mm -hmm. Could be a friend, family member, work colleague. You know what the situation is. Santo, baby, if it's going to be the one, it might as well be this. Love it. Bacana, the Empress. Abundant, darling, dear. Embodying all the energies of the queens. You are in your what? Nurturing status. Understanding, as I said, the grass is greener under thee. Realize that you're able to create certain freedoms. Yes, baby. By the sweat of your proverbial balls, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. It's represented by the numbers 12, 13 and 15 As well as the letter B, darling dear New beginnings This is your growth, darling dear Some of you are pregnant Congratulations mm -hmm. I'm hearing it's a girl Somebody's about to have twins, darling dear Twin girls Oh, congratulations twice Yes, baby The Empress energy is represented by arm. Um, Earth, water, and Venus. This is about you what? Knowing your worth. Being in what? Tip, take, tip, top, co-creating mode. Knowing your potentials, darling, dear, and working on them. Mm -hmm. Some of you are more in touch with nature. Going out into the woods, walking on grass, putting your feet in an ocean or a body of water. Channeling those energies, darling, dears. This also speaks about what? Moving away from lack of con oh, lack of concentration, moving away from the talentless. Those that need to what? Cling to your coattail like a full-on Klingon. And this is not Star Trek, darling dear. Trying to what? Take your light and use it as their own, realizing that they can't approach your throne anymore. You're not even vibrating on the same frequency. Who you were has been replaced by who you're meant to be. Push, clap, fist bump, love it. <clears throat> you notice that my, my throat chakra got a bit caught there. They're stubborn and stuttering before they speak. Mm -hmm. like, a, like, a, like a gaggle of bumbling idiots. Tongue tied around you, big cat. They will keep their eyes on the floor in your presence. You are serving big cat chronicles. Continues, yes, love it, love it. The best rune you could have got, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Empress of everything. Everything you say, everything, darling dear. You can have anything you want, but you have to what? Conceive, believe, and achieve. And be focused. Never doubt your greatness. And make sure what? You put your back into it. Faith without works is dead, darling dear. The Empress also represents the Divine Feminine and your femininity. Some of you are seated in your femininity now. Mm -hmm. It also represents Mother Energy. It could be your mother. Some of you are getting what? Your third eye on that bitch or Mitch. Excuse my language, but it is what it is. Realising they are the ones that you need to be away from, darling. Yeah. 
try to poison you with their ways from the, from the cradle darling you freezing freeing yourself emancipation day love it mm -hmm. oh you get two today right the first one we see is the emperor plus the empress energy boss mode Possibly what? Balancing out your masculine and feminine feminine energies. It could also mean what? A marriage. Because this empress is pregnant, darling dear. A marriage. And the child is born. Or possibly a power couple. Mm -hmm. The energy of the seven. This talks about what? A visitor. Or someone coming to tell you something that is going to change your life. Change the course of your plans completely. Yes, baby. Boss. Mm -hmm. Possibly a benefactor, somebody coming to support you, give you a different, a different outlook, a new direction. One you didn't believe, but you have to remember. Look at all of these fields, seeded with new growth, darling dear. Multiple possibilities, infinite possibilities. Mm -hmm. The energy of the four three big cat, lean in. Lean in, big cat. It talks about what? Happiness in love. Love of self. Love of, of a partner who is giving you... Re re oh my gosh. Reciprocating those said feelings. Somebody who what? Protect and provide. Mm -hmm. The energy of the three also speaks about conflict, darling. Yeah, somebody wants it. We lean with you. They still want to argue from the bottom of the pot. What golly and gosh. This also speaks about what? Being cautious. Mm -hmm. Being extremely cautious, darling dear. Listen to your intuition. You'll feel it in your solar plexus. Mm -hmm. This is a nerve-wracking period for some as well. A period where you need to keep your wits about you. Because you have to remember, nerve-wracking for them means survival mode to you, darling dear. And that reeks of opportunist. Boss up mode. Don't allow yourself to be scuppered at this stage of the game when spirit has opened up a new path for you, darling dear. One that is fraught and filled with grace. Mm -hmm. The four also speaks into what keyword of communication you've got incoming. I told you a benefactor is afoot. Sponsorship deals alone. Whatever you've been working on, you're about to get a green light, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Also expect communication from somebody who needs help. They, they're what? Sending out an SOS. Don't answer the call, darling dear. Mm -hmm. It's a test. Know this. Seeing how strong you are. Realising if you truly are the empress or emperor that you're meant to be. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, you have the fallen and lovers. Air and Uranus energy, as well as what? The Gemini. Mm -hmm. Somebody's feeling a fool in a love situation, one that you are now free from, darling dear. You wave goodbye to an old partner or old way of being. Gave it the final long kiss goodnight. Come through Samuel L. Jackson. Jackson. Mm -hmm. And Gina Davis. Posh. Clap. Yes, baby, you gave it the long kiss goodbye. This was a situation that was extremely hard for you to leave. Why? You didn't know your worth. And this person was what? A master manipulator. Like to guilt you out. A blessing blocker for sure. Until spirit said what? Change or die. Change or die. Mm -hmm. The energy of the blank arm. Um, the blank. I said the blank, but I meant to be meant to say the fool. So something is blank. Possibly your eye when you see these people. You don't see them. Pardon me again. Excuse moi si vous play. Another spiritual belch because I speak the truth, Rolf. Baby. Mm -hmm. the z I was about to say the zero. Yeah, it is a zero. The fool and the lovers. This speaks about what? Somebody's in trouble, darling dear. A scandal is about to be unmasked in a love situation. Somewhere somebody what took a leap of faith, a risk, a risk on a love situation. They gambled on the wrong sort and they're about to be exposed. Something around their love situation. Somebody was being guilted into a situation. We've got two empresses here. 
Oh, third party situation. Mm -hmm. They're realizing that shit now. And they're guilty as fuck. Yes. Hey, hey. They're about to be caught. And whomsoever is the catchy, you're not going to argue. You're not going to fight. You're going to be jade. What's that? Don't justify. Don't argue. Don't defend. And don't explain. You just give them the what? The full on Casper toe tagging a Mitchell bitch saying goodbye. This looks like the black bags to me. They've changed it into a backpack. They need to venture out there. They need to share their what? Dark ways with somebody else, darling there. Round someone else's gas. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. A scandal is afoot. Could be from a celebrity, somebody. Female energy. Mm -hmm. Same sex scandal. Yes, baby, that just came out. I don't know where it came from, but it was meant to be told. And so I did. Mm -hmm. Current energy around the big cat. Hey, baby. What did I say? Change is afoot, darling dear. You are controlling your bag. A miracle is being granted unto thee. You have the energy of the Scorpio as well as the star. Mm -hmm. Aquarius energy. Mm -hmm. And death. Rebirth. Mm -hmm. Letting go of old ways. Transforming. And I told you, Pentecale, somebody's about to get a loan. Secure a new home. Move. Move things around in your home. Or feeling more secure in yourself. As you continue to con subconsciously and consciously pour away what no longer serves you. Being in control of your subconscious mind. Your theta. State of sleep, darling dear. You've reprogrammed it. This is about you what? Having one foot in two worlds, fully aware in how to what? Wield the whip, as you are Carlisi or Carl. In this season, big cat, gratitude and freedom is being gifted to you. This also speaks about a platform, darling dear. Somebody's about to what? Step into fame and recognition. One where they'll be able to what? Control the market with their uniqueness, a new beginning. Some of you will be getting a new chariot of righteousness, beep, beep. Being recognized in your community as what? Being exceptional. Controlling the game, darling dear. Always being the professor of the puzzle. Love it. Oh, love that energy. What was the past energy? Dare I ask? What was the past energy that the big cat is moving away from? I'm seeing a mother figure. One card fell out. Promises falls, darling dear. The six of cups. You're moving away from someone in the past. Who would what kept you stuck in your emotions if this is not your progeny, darling dears? Someone who kept you giving you one cup and it was full of what? Flowers, possibly weeds. Mm -hmm. This ex-person, this ex-partner, this ex, whomsoever got the ex on their back, darling dear, was targeted, earmarked to get the black bags and push off, right? They'd love to come back through. Six of cups is represented by Scorpio again, as well as the sun energy. Mm -hmm. They wanted to reunion, a reunion with you, right? They've started to what? Idolize you as you continue to move away. They've never had anybody leave them like that before. Without a fight, darling dear. Or if it was a fight to leave, you said nothing more. Easter Highland, Stevie Wonder. They would love to come back through, darling. The past would like to rear its ugly head at this stage of the game. When you've got blessing upon blessing on the table, on the tablet, the table. Tell me more about this past person. Mm -hmm. High command of this septicon, emotional drain. Narcissist is their name. Right, if shit is their game, this is a cheating chitara. Someone who's emotionally cold used to, as I said, pull your emotions about like taffy. This person had no control, no emotional control. This is somebody who what? Rages and pops off when things are not going their way. In the upright, the king of cups is somebody who is financially secure. This is why they can afford to what? Listen. Slow to speak, quick to listen. But in the reverse, this person don't listen, blood. They fly off the handle. 
Brrr, verbal diarrhea, and everyone is a dart or a knife. Mm-hmm, love to cut to the white meat. You gave them what, Matthew 10, 14? Two of these and one of those as you dusted off your sandals and headed out. You did the right thing, big cat, no this. You did. What else about this king of cups? Base of the deck. They're under judgment. This ex-person, I told you, that ugly, ugly, ugly nature of those behaviors was seeing what your eyes did not witness, your ears did not hear, your ancestral team heard. This is about your divine calling, your steps being in order, and two cards, right? Speaking of what the past wanting to rear its ugly head, this person would like to jettison back into your existence, whomsoever it is for you. Some of you, it's a mother figure, a sister, a cousin, whatever. This person was emotionally draining, darling dear. Why do they want to come back? This is outrageous. They want to come back because you're cleaning up, darling dear. You are not leaning on a hill with one pentacle. They, you're, they're seeing that it's harvest season for you. They see that you have work ethic, darling dear. Mm -hmm. The energy of the arm. Um, Seven also speaks about surprises. They may, might what? Turn up on you. A big surprise. Listen, we don't like surprises like that. We've got this to ensure that we ain't getting smoked. What do you mean they're surprising you? And you've got cat reflexes. Might be the last surprise they ever do, darling dear. Three go to moves. Don't allow the smokation. And the what fucking knees to draw you back in. They will try and guilt you out in some way. They will block your blessings if you allow them back. They see what you've got going on, darling dear. Looking like a full on Mary Mary, quite contrary. Multiple streams of income. Mm hmm. This, them are contra pentacale. They see you as stable and loyal from the nosebleed section. Hard working. And they would love to what? Come and persevere. Reinvest in you, darling dear. Reinvest. Are you mad blood? Mm -hmm. I'm going to read this in the reverse for them. What's going on? They're disappointed. Whatever plans they had have been scuppered. Mm -hmm. This person is petty. Mogetti. Yes, baby. And jealous. Did I say jealous? We already spoke about the dull yellow. They want your life to fail. They want you to skip a beat when you dance to the music of the universe. Are they mad? They see that you're a good investment and their wish fulfillment now as you are being blessed in their face. Why? Because they're always spying. Those hillbilly investigations are always being launched. Big cat, you are about to get your wish fulfillment, whatever it was, set in your intentions, staying focused, your eye on the prize. The deeper you go into the woods, big cat, the more interest in the trees. Mm -hmm. what's, what's behind that? The wheel of fortune. And if it's a love situation, true love is being guided to you. The wind of change is afoot. This person is afraid that you're going to be what? Going into a relationship with somebody who knows your worth. Karma and Dharma is being delivered. Two major arcana, darling dear. Mm-hmm. Let's give it another shortly. What about this? What have you secured? Some of you are going to be securing some, something online. A television deal, a series, a record contract. Something tangible. As I said, you step into fame. Oh gosh. The backstabber fell right on all your joy and lovely and fabulous and gorgeousness. Mm -hmm. This person feels betrayed by you or left behind. This person is also what? Getting some kind of stab, stab or stabation. What's this? Surgical augmentation is still ugly on the inside, darling dear. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. This is about you what? Coming up from that betrayal, controlling your environment, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Ten of Swords. In the upright, I might add, the bad stubbers, the original bad gal or bad boy, bad news bear. Mm -hmm. If you're going for surgery in this season, darling dears, know this. This is a positive vibe. You'll be good. All good in your wood. Mm -hmm. 
somebody's trying to control the death of a situation. I told you, Mac the knife would love to slide through for one more round, Julie, with what you've got going on. This bitter and twisted person or personage. Because it takes a village in some cases to perpetrate the hate. Mm -hmm. Because you're not having it, darling, dear. They left you out in the cold. They are, they, them and armies are now feeling left out in the cold. You're the queen of swords. This also speaks about legal situations. Giving you the freedom now to cut off what no longer serves you. Turning your back on toxic temporary situations. That kept you in lack. Your pentacale is also representing your mental health, darling dear. Your health was scuppered. And without your mental health, the greatest gift you can get on this Malkuth. Your health, darling dear. Without your health, you have nothing. They wanted you broken. If you have progeny, they didn't even want to give up the peas. They wanted your progeny to live off the fat of the land, darling dear. But spirit says no. The queen of swords is what a quick thinker. Highly intelligent. And what? Highly intuitive, darling dear. You speak your truth now. And you speak life. Love it. Right underneath... Continue to pour away. Let it slide off. They're hating because you're gone. Base of the deck, darling dear. Fully isolated in drama three. Mm -hmm. Virgo energy again as at the top of the reed. And look at this. You have an emperor. Somebody's checking you out, darling dear. What you want is what about to present itself. The emperor could also represent an organization or an industry. Your unique talents are about to be what highlighted. I told you, star qualities. This could be you raised up in your community, whatever field that is for you, darling dear. You are about to become the boss. Boss of everything. This is also what a divine union. Only an emperor can approach the throne. Somebody who knows their worth. Told you, some of you are going into divine unions because you know thyself. You're attracting what you truly deserve. The star card also speaks about happiness, darling dear. Happiness, infinite happiness. Having raised your vibration, the divine is about to what? Fulfill your deepest wants and dreams. Mm -hmm. Good prospects. It also again points to the return to your health. Mm -hmm. Your mental health. Some of you are what? Getting that body in shape. Mm -hmm. if the, I told you, the all surgeries are going to go well. This person wanted you to be left out in the cold. They thought you'd be stuck in this toxic situation. You said Dos for Daniel to that. You ended one beginning in order for a new beginning to be what? Brought in by spirit, gifted to the divine child. You rolled the dice. You took a gamble on yourself and you won, big cat. Clarify the death card, please. <laughs> Who got... Who God bless, no man can curse. This is my hierophant on the death card. Divine timing, your steps are in order. This is divine plans being executed. Your Akashic records, darling dears. Taurus energy, this is also my marriage card. Some of you are going to, what? Get a breath of fresh air in this new union that you're going into, darling dear. One that is divinely guided. This is somebody who's been through the fire. Mm -hmm. leaving old ways behind this person possibly was toxic as well gosh this is this could also even be a reformed player but this person don't want to play no more they see you as an enigma something unique something that they want to what put a ring on it mm -hmm. some of you are moving towards what your religious studies getting your accolades i'm hearing a certificate um a, um, a ceremony some kind of a celebration it's going to go absolutely well. You found your Chiron, darling. Yeah, the five speaks about change. Look at this. The Empress of everything. Know your worth, darling, dear. And as you stand up as Empress, what did I tell you? A divine union. Who God bless, no man can curse. Continue forward, big cat. Whatever situation you find yourself in it is the springboard for your life all new everything somebody fell asleep on you they slept on you they slept on you look and they'd like to rush back in for what 
right to try and stop the ending of this situation from you from you changing and getting what you truly want this person is trying to stop you online this is something vicious a keyboard bully darling dear mm -hmm. and in some cases somebody wants to rush into what cause you to lose your baby with arguing tongue wrestling and fighting protect your energies and your unborn child this person comes with nothing but problems and issues like What's the rush in, eh? Look, I just split it. I command Decepticon, wash your face like David. Recognize the energy of it all. You have your tableau set. Psalms 23, 5. And your head is anointed with Psalms 23, 6. Don't allow them to bring you down, darling, dear. This could also be a third party situation where they knowingly knew. They both work together, right? Little Finger and Pennywise's daughter. To hurt you, wash your face like David. They can't touch this. Come through, MC Hammer. Hit them with your plot twist, darling, dear. Look at all of this major arcana. Look at all of this major arcana. Look at all of this major arcana. Right? And judgment knows their address. Love it. Love it. How many major arcana is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have seven, the number of the chariot. Yes, baby, cancer energy. Continue. Again, it's telling you to what? Focus on your long-term goals. Why? Victory and success is assured. Again, the, the chariot also speaks about a trip. Some of you are going to be going on a trip, a business trip. A, tri a trip, a trip that is going to bring what? you to a different level of thinking darling dear a, a chance to clear your mind and be focused man love it love it let's get um <clears throat> another card on this we're gonna go with the romance angel cards what fell out chemistry darling dear i told you this looks like an emperor and empress him trying to give you the world, darling. And you're saying, oh, well, okay. Well, okay. Chemistry. What did I just say? Full on attraction. Attracted because you are now vibrating on the level where you deserve your true divinely guided partner as they deserve you. What fell out? Flirt, make the effort, and continue to release that backstabber forever. Dos for Daniel with two of these and one of those. Let me get my um, FP555 Oracle Intel deck. If you require this deck, follow the link below. It's two different decks, but I put them together. As I said before, who go and check me, boo? Mm. Know this. Whomsoever you left behind, spirit has them in hand. 33 ascended masters, darling. Yeah. They're going through their blood clottery and F shit, which they caused for themselves. What else turned over? They are reaping what they sowed. What did I say? From the nosebleed section. Mm-hmm. You've got those badass alchemist ways, darling dear. This is also about swift movement. You having all of the tools to co-create whatever you want. Act on those downloads, darling dears. It's going to bring you to what? Your wish fulfillment as you harvest whatever you sowed. Reaping what you sowed as well. Final card. This fine, darling dear, wishing Hating, wanting, don't let them back in. A vampire can't come in unless you invite them across your threshold. Remember, they took you to your stress threshold. On that note, I drops me mic. Don't love the teesprings where I have a plethora of paraphernalia that will surely titillate your fancy. Or take the hop, skip and jump to the Patreon where you will have access to all the extended reads for 555. Change. If you require more in-depth personal read, please email me at frequencyphoenix555 at gmail.com. And as I always say, don't get smoked. Don't smoke yourself. 
Don't let them guilt you out into any past situation. That is if shit. And blessing blocking. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Cat, cat. Cat, cat.